botulinum toxin A, BTA, in the treatment of keloids. Botulinum toxin injections into the musculature adjacent to the wound, 15U of BTA, Botox, Allergen, Irvine CA, USA, per 2 cm intraoperative length, within 24 hours after wound closure resulted in enhanced wound healing and less noticeable scars compared with placebo. By injecting BTA 4 to 7 days prior to surgery, we have seen similar results using a slightly reduced dose regime, depending on the respective anatomic location, risk of severe asymmetry if injecting only one side of the musculus frontalis, brow ptosis. Recently, intralesional injection with BTA has been proposed for the treatment of established keloids in a perspective uncontrolled study. BTA was injected into the lesions at three-month intervals for a maximum of nine months at a concentration of 35 units slash ml. Total doses ranged from 70 to 140 units per session. At one-year follow-up, three of the included 12 patients demonstrated excellent, five good, and four fair results. In none of the patients did this therapy fail. When analyzing clinical symptoms, scar regression was noted from the periphery in all of the patients followed by flattening of the lesions. Within the follow-up period of one year, no signs of recurrence were noted in any of the patients. As an underlying mechanism, reduction of TGF beta 1 expression and decreased fibroblasts, proliferation was suggested. 111 in a recently published study by our group, objective evaluation of BTA treated keloids using optical profilometry did not reveal any changes after BTA therapy compared with baseline. 112 also, no in vitro effects of BTA on TGF beta subtypes or fibroblast proliferation could be found. Thus, while reduction of the tensile force by prophylactic BTA injections into the musculature adjacent to the respective wound might represent a comprehensible mechanism of action for aesthetic improvement of post surgical scars. The suggested clinical efficiency of intralesional BTA for the treatment of existent keloids remains uncertain. BTA immobilizes local muscles, reduces skin tension caused by muscle pull, and thus, decreases microtrauma and subsequent inflammation. Reduction of the tensile force during the course of cicatrization and effective regulation of the balance between fibroblast proliferation and cellular apoptosis may represent a novel therapeutic option for the aesthetic improvement of post-surgical scars. Certainly, more in-depth studies on the effects of BTA on pathologic scars and slash or mature keloids are needed before a comparatively expensive therapy for this particular indication can be postulated.